hi welcome to my channel subscribe like and comment um today i would like to do crystal fractionation last time when we when i did the the video or if you haven't seen my my video on power interaction series you can look um go check for it um it's a video on bowen action series um so now i would like to to can look into bowen action series before we can go into fractional crystallization like i told you that bowen action series um norman bowen found by experiment that the order in which mineral crystallize from a basaltic magma it depends on the temperature so as a basaltic magma cooled um olivine and um, calcium rich plagioclase they crystallize first and upon the cooling olivine obviously would it will react with the liquid to produce the pyroxenes and calcium rich plagioclase um and um, with the further reaction with the liquid that is to say the the solid with further reaction with the liquid it will produce less calcium rich plagioclase that is to say sodium rich plagioclase but if now the olivine and the calcium rich plagioclase are removed from the liquid by the process of crystal fractionation then now the remaining liquid will be more of the silica um oxide or the sio2 rich so if the process continues obviously the original basaltic magma can change to first it's it will start with the andesite or the andesitic magma up until we have the rhyolitic magma with decrease in temperature that is um what we have to understand by now because um i told you that we have in bowen's action series we have discontinuous um which describes um the evolution of um mythic minerals that is to say olivine pyroxene amphibole and biotite and then continuous series it describe the evolution of the plagioclase um plagioclase minerals now if we now understand the the evolution of these minerals in the discontinuous and continuous series if we understand this part we should now go look in the a special scenario wherein after the first minerals such as olivine and calcium rich plagioclase has crystallized the minerals they are removed from the system then they are denied to react or to participate in the future um, crystallization of new minerals if they are taken out of the solution then the liquid composition will run away from the crystallizing phases now in this case we started to talk about the crystal um fractionation we started to talk about crystal fractionation so crystal fractionation we have to um understand that is the process of gravity settling the first formed crystals at the top of the reaction series have the greatest the density um the first crystals that is to say these these minerals these minerals over there they have greatest um density we know from the word mafic um this it represent iron and um obviously this would represent magnesium the mafic and if we have felsic this represent sio2 and fel it represent felspar it represent felspars so this is the basic we have to understand that the mafic the ferromagnesium minerals they are more dense 
because um, the minerals are dark minerals, they are um, melanocratic, that is to say. And then the felsic, um, they are lycocratic, they are light, they are less dense. Um, we, if we have understood this fact, um, is then that we can go back into that slide wherein it, 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 it described the fact that the minerals at the top, they have less density. The first formed minerals at the top of the reaction series have the greatest density. And I told you that, okay, this is, is the process of gravity settling. But obviously, one would ask, how is that the case? Now, the mechanism of crystal fractionation, it's a natural mechanism that separates the early crystallizing phases or, or, or the crystals from, the, from reacting with the liquid to form the new phases. Remember for an olivine that has been crystallized first, for it to form a pyroxene, it should re react with the liquid to form a pyroxene. But if that olivine has been removed out of the system by this um, phenomenon of uh, crystal fractionation, a natural mechanism that separates the early crystallizing phases from reacting with the liquid to form new phase. Now, as soon as the, the minerals, the way, the way they, they, they crystallized, now, remember the dark minerals, I told you that they are melanocratic, they have high densities, and then the light minerals they have low density and they are lycocratic then that in itself it tells you that the 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 minerals the dark minerals the dark minerals the dark minerals after they have crystallized they will sink into or or, or to the bottom of the magma chamber or the magma body or the bottom of the system because they are less, they are what? They are less dense. This is the case. For instance, if you can um, have a liquid that is less denser than the minerals, obviously the minerals will, due to the gravity, due to the gravity, they will settle at the bottom of this magma chamber or this magma body or of this system because they are less, they are more dense. They are melanocratic or they are mafic minerals. They are dark minerals which have high densities. And then the low density minerals, the low density minerals, um, in this case, they would, because they are less denser than, they are less denser than the liquid, then they will float. They won't sink. Why? Because um, they are less denser than the liquid. Then if they are less dense, they will rise. They will rise. Um, they will rise. And when they rise, they will con be concentrated at the, the top part of the magma chamber. This is when we start to talk about the minerals that are less denser. But we have to understand that the first minerals that they accumulated at the bottom, due to the other minerals that they get to be deposited on top of the newly or, uh, deposited say, um, what minerals, they exert more pressure on the bottom layers. By doing so, it gives the minerals at the far bottom to be excluded from the liquid here because um they 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 are at the the bottom layers the liquid is far um from it this is the case um 
we say if the crystals have a high density than the liquid, they will tend to sink or settle to the floor of the magma body. So the first layer that settles, the first layer at the bottom that settles will still be in contact with the magma. That is to say, before these minerals, these other minerals, they get to be deposited on the, the newly deposited um, crystals. But these deposited crystals, the first deposited crystals, with time, they will become buried by what? By later settling crystal, so that they are effectively removed from this liquid. I hope I'm making sense. Um, should you struggle to understand, um, hit me with a comment and then I'll, I'll, I'll explain even further. So if now the crystals have low density, like I've explained in the, um, the minerals have low density in the magma. Now they will tend to float because they are less denser than the liquid itself. So, as well, the crystals, the, the first crystals, the first crystals that formed here, the first crystals that formed here, um, they will accumulate because they accumulated at the top of the magma body. Then, initially, as soon as they were deposited, they get to be in contact with the liquid. And then if they get to be in contact with the liquid, due to the further burial of other um, new crystallizing phases, it will remove the first crystallizing phases, these ones, from in contact, for, from being in contact with the liquid. That is what basically this is all about. Like, so... We, 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 we have to understand that we have oxides like magnesium and um, iron and obviously the calcium oxide. And then we told, I told you that these are the mephic oxides. So these are the mephic oxides and they enter the crystallizing phases such as olivine. Remember, olivine, olivine is a mineral, and this um, oxide, when, 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 or uh, during the crystallizing, during crystallization, they will enter the new crystallizing phases like olivine and pyroxene, which is why the olivine and pyroxene, they tend to be rich in magnesium, iron, and the calcium. The calcium, where the calcium we're talking about, the calcium rich plagiotlase in that in, in in that special case, but olivine and pyroxene they will rich with the they will be rich with the magnesium and the iron upon the first crystallization. So we would expect this magnesium and um, iron as well as the calcium oxide to decrease with the higher rate of crystallization wherein you find that the slicker contact subsequently it increases with the rate of crystallization fractionation how and why because we have to ask ourselves we shouldn't just believe that okay um the the iron and the magnesium oxides and as, as well as the calcium oxide, they will decrease with the rate of crystallization. Remember, the, these minerals, they are all minerals such as olivine and pyroxene, they are first minerals. And um, the magnesium and iron, they will enter the crystallizing phase um, as soon as the crystallization begins. But should the, the olivine and pyroxene get to be removed when temperature is decreasing, 
that will make the liquid composition to evolve or to run away from the crystallizing phases. And in that case, obviously, within that system, within this system, within this system, the mineral, the mineralogy of the ferromagnesium, it decreases with increasing in proportionality the content of the silica. This, um, for example, let's say we have we have this, which um, let's say we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six of these purple, and let's say, and then blue of and two, four, six. We have equal proportion. I'm just citing example. We have equal proportion of the the crosses and the circles. Let's say the, the 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 circles they are magnesium and iron. Upon cooling, when they 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 or or let's say or let's give us let's let's give um the case wherein we have four of the crosses and more of the magnesium because they were first to enter the melt and then um, and enter the crystallizing phases, which are the olivine and pyroxenes. So when this after formation, they get to be removed. We remove that. And we remove that. We also remove that. Within the same um, system, or we can even remove that. You can see that the proportion of the ion and magnesium has dec has decreased in relation to these crosses. These crosses they now represent the the silica content, which is why we say with the rate of or, or the the with the increasing crystallization rate, the silica content will increase subsequently with a decreasing um, ferromagnesium ion. But if we were to have oxide such as um, potassium oxide, like water, for instance, these are expected, these oxides are expected to increase with the higher rate of crystallization. Like I told you, because they enter the, the crystallizing phases at the later stage, like rhyolite and, and granite. And um, other example um, that I gave you is this one, that when we keep on removing the, the iron and magnesium from the system or from the magma chamber, then um, relatively to the removal of this iron and magnesium, we increase the content of the silica or the potassium or even the water or even the, the the sodium the sodium oxide then basically that that is what crystal fractionation is all about